I never understood why the term baby mama offended me so much until I realized that it was a term that was pretty much utilized the most in my community, the black community. It sounds ghetto as fuck, okay? It sounds ghetto as hell, right? And when I think about it, maybe you guys have heard, you know, Asians or white people or, you know, Latin American or Hispanics use the term baby mama before. It's just rare to hear that, right? Usually you hear terms like my ex, the mother of my kids or my kid's mom, something to that effect. Very rare do you hear anybody outside of the black race say, yo, that's just my baby mama, right? And when you hear it, man, it, it, it makes me feel a way, right? Because deep down inside, it feels as though you do not respect the woman that you chose to lay down with, right? It feels as though you have zero fucking respect for her, right? When you say my kid's mother, right? Or, you know, uh, you know, the mother of my kids, my kid's mom, my ex, something like that. It's to the point where it's like, well... You're not really being too demeaning, but baby mama just sounds like that's just one other girl you chose to lay down with who just so happened to be pregnant. Oh, that's just my baby mama, right? As opposed to, yo, that's the mother of my kids. That's my kid's mom. That's my ex, right? When you say that, and when I think about it out loud, it's not so much that you have a certain level of disrespect towards the woman that you chose to bed with that just happened to be pregnant. But to me, it shows that you really don't value yourself very much to say, ah, that's just one of my baby moms. Yeah, it sounds cool to have multiple kids with different women, I guess, to some because it shows your alpha status and it shows your ability to bed with and get with a lot of women. Some women find that to be attractive because they know that you are somebody that other women are willing to sleep with and have their kids. But on the flip side to me, man, it just shows you genuinely ain't got a lot of respect for yourself, man. My sperm is special, bro. Now, a lot of people look at me and be like, Doc, nobody, nobody want to sleep with your ass anyways. That's why you saying this shit. You can have a baby mama even if you wanted to. Nobody wants to sleep with you, whatever, whatever. You can have that. If you want to say that, go ahead and get it out the way. If it make you feel better, make you, if it tickles your pickle to get it out the way, say that. But honestly, bro, I look at my sperm like it's special, man. And my swimmers are champions. Understand, I was the winner, y'all. Think about it. Out of the millions of motherfucking sperm in the world, I was the winner. So out the gate, just the fact of me being born, I'm already, you know, operating, you know, on top of the world. I was the person that got the W, correct? And you got to start treating your swimmers like they're special, man. If this girl got your shit and that girl got your shit and she's got your kid, she's got your kid and you start to just rack them up and it's like, ah, that's just my baby moms. To me, it lessens our value as men, right? A lot of people think that it puts a lot of stock and a lot of value to yourself in the eyes of others. But for me, it's more or less like you genuinely ain't got a lot of respect for yourself, right? You don't respect your swimmers. You don't respect your own damn sperm, bruh. You don't respect the fact that you are able to produce something of a higher caliber and a higher quality, right? That you're able to produce a offspring that could potentially be about something. Because when you have multiple of them, can you really give them the effort, honest, you know, the honest effort and energy that it requires to be a father to that kid, right? And then, like I said, man, it don't really show your ability to pick good women if all she is to you is your baby moms, right? It's like, nah, it's just my baby moms and shit. Like I said, as opposed to you saying, yo, that's the mother of my kids. You know, yeah, she my ex or whatever. You know, it's just my baby moms. It's like, she's just the person who was there to bear, uh, who to carry my kid for nine months, right? She ain't really nothing special, right? So you hear the phrase of the term and you can go into Urban Dictionary and it probably has some fancy saying as to what a baby mama is or whatever. But for me... Like I said, man, I ain't just going to be out here trying to have a whole bunch of kids and shit. And I think a lot of gentlemen have to learn to put a lot of respect on their sperm. Put some spec on your name, right? Put some spec on your family name, as a matter of fact. A lot of people don't really take that into consideration, but I do. I think about it every day. What kind of legacy do I want to leave behind, right? Who do I really want to put in the position to be the mother of my kids, you know what I'm saying? Maybe not your wife, but who do I believe is deserving of the role to be the mother of my kids? 
see, when you start to think like that, you start to be careful with the women you choose to link up with, who you choose to hook up with. Now, I'm not against having fun, but I'm all about protection of self, man. You know, I can't just be out here just slanging the shit to everybody. And then once some, one girl get pregnant after a one night stand, now all of a sudden, fuck, she don't want to get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? After I told her to get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? I told her, you get on the plan B. I told her to do this. She don't want to do it. So fuck it, now. She's just another girl that I bed with another baby mom's. No girl you even give a fuck about, let alone respect. I kind of feel like your disrespect in that regard is disrespecting yourself. At least to me. Because uh, that baby mama shit don't really fly over here. It's cringy as fuck. It's ghetto as fuck. For you, me to hear my fellow brother tell me, ah, man, it's just my baby mom's, man. Don't worry about her. My baby mom's tripping or my baby mama tripping and shit. But... In my mind, it does show a little bit of immaturity in us as men, to an extent. And I say us as men because, yo, I still am a man, without a doubt. Um, Maybe I don't necessarily fit in that category, but it does show a level of immaturity in us as men. And it's crazy, though, because I was watching Baby Boy the other day. And if you guys remember how the beginning of the Baby Boy movie started out, they were talking about the, somewhat of the immaturity of us as men. You know, we call the house or the home that we live in our crib. You know, as well as, you know, the woman that we're with, we call a mom, we call a mama, we call a ma, like, yo, what's up, ma? Something like that. And, you know, you start to think about the psychology of it all, man, and it really does open up a lot of doors and it makes you think. Same rules apply when you just bed with a girl and she just she's just not special, but, you know, she just didn't want to get rid of the kid or you chose to slip up and, you know, not protect yourself. So now, you know, you end up getting her pregnant and that's your baby mom's. You don't really care about it. You know, she's just there and shit. You know, this woman thinking, ah, I got his kid now, so he going to always be linked to me for life and shit. You know, I don't see the value in it, y'all. I don't see the value in it. And when I look at other races of people and how they conduct themselves and stuff and how they refer to uh, the woman they are no longer with, whether it was an ex-wife or just a mother to their kids, it's never, never seemingly as disrespectful as the term baby moms or baby mama. That's my baby mama. It just seems like you're dismissing this chick for real. So guys, in general, what I want to say is we have got to be better about our choosing patterns we've got to be better with choosing the types of women we choose to hook up with now that don't necessarily mean that you got to go outside the race like some other people have myself included to find you a good one or to find you someone that you feel is worth you know carrying on the family name and legacy whatever you want to call it but it does mean that you definitely have to choose better just because they're easy, just because they're easy to get with, just because they're easy to link up with, or, you know, she's just the first girl that laid down a spread of legs for you and shit. I kind of feel like you got to look at that a certain way. Like, damn, although it was easy, I mean, it was too easy. So if it was easy for me, is it easy for everybody else too, right? Or you got to think about it like, mm, maybe I should make better decisions than the women that I choose to link with. Sometimes we just want to get our rocks off. So, gentlemen, I'm not going to hold your hand to the flame on it, but I also want you to take into consideration the women you choose to just hook up with. Think about the potential of that girl being the mother of your kids. Is that a woman that you would want to raise your kid, right? Because y'all don't think about that either. No, not, not to mention the child support and all that shit that could follow and how deeply in debt you could get dealing with women in the West and shit. Or, you know, you find yourself skating fucking child support all the time, just ducking and dodging jobs because you don't want to pay. You got to put a little bit more value on your sperm, y'all. Your swimmers are special, gentlemen. Right? Remember, out of all the millions of sperm that came out your daddy penis... You was the one who made it. So you off the rip already a winner. You understand? You were the winner swimmer. <laughs> Your swimmer, you were the swimmer winner. Winner swimmer, whatever. Right? And I just want to have this conversation, man, because it was on my mind, yo. I really just, I heard that term so much today, man. It made me feel away. So I had to really get it off my chest. And I hope that y'all feel where I'm coming from. If you have your own thoughts, whatever you want to add to the conversation, man, comment section below. I would love to hear what you guys got to say. Y'all know what time it is, man. Doc's on to the next one. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed, man. Doc is out. Peace.